Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday. So you know what that means? We're going to chat about my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and I'm going to share with you my weigh-in. So last week I gained 0.8, almost a full pound. Let's see what happened this week. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on because I upload a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions for accountability or talk with me directly. And spoiler alert, I'm having a huge Black Friday sale on personalized macros and calories today only. I will put all of the sale information and put my nutrition coaching website at the top of the description box. Take advantage of the sale. It's the cheapest price it'll ever be for personalized macros and calories. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic and this week's weigh-in. Black Friday. I hope you had an amazing, amazing Thanksgiving. If you overindulged on Thanksgiving, if you enjoyed all the Thanksgiving food, good for you. Give yourself some grace and start over today. It's okay to enjoy a holiday. It's a holiday, not a holiday month. So make sure that you enjoy Thanksgiving and you get right back on track today. I know that's exactly what my plan is. I had a really, really good week. I had a busy week just gearing up for Thanksgiving. I actually did a 5K, a turkey trot with my boot camp yesterday for Thanksgiving. That was just a really good way to start out the day. I got a 5K in, got in about 8,000 steps, moved my body, and geared up for all the de delicious Thanksgiving food. We had Thanksgiving at our home with my in-laws. We kept it pretty simple. We had ham, mashed potatoes, stuffing. My mother-in-law made two amazing pies and an amazing, amazing salad. And we just played left, right, center, which is a dice game with quarters. So much fun. We just had a very relaxing, family-filled, just really special Thanksgiving. I did not track my food yesterday. I ate kind of whatever I wanted to eat yesterday. I just really enjoyed the holiday. Of course, I was mindful of portions. I made sure that I loaded my plate up with ham for all of the protein and just small amounts of everything else. Everything was so delicious. And I feel like overall, I did really good. Still enjoying everything on Thanksgiving, just not overindulging. I sent the pies home with my mother-in-law. All the other leftovers are here. We ate all the salad, but the mashed potatoes, gravy, ham, and stuffing is all here. I'm going to leave Troy to his own devices with those because that is his favorite thing. He's very much a meat and potato kind of guy, and stuffing is his favorite part of Thanksgiving. So he will definitely finish off the leftovers. So it's pretty easy for me to get back to normal. Send the desserts home with people if you don't want them in your home. I just made sure my mother-in-law took them home. My father-in-law loves his sweets kind of like me, so I know that he'll finish up those pies no problem. I did get in all of my workouts this week. I was at boot camp. I did the 5K yesterday for Thanksgiving. We didn't have boot camp this morning. She figured nobody would show up the day after Thanksgiving, and she's probably right. So instead, I went ahead and went to the gym today, walked to the gym, lifted weights for an hour, and walked home. Had just about a two-hour workout today, and it felt really good post the Thanksgiving holiday. One of my big tips for you is just get back to normal. When the holiday, because it's a holiday, is over, just get right back to normal. You're you're not going to gain weight because you had Thanksgiving dinner. It's what you do leading up to Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving that can cause the scale to move in the wrong direction. It's not just one day of enjoying it with your family and enjoying all of those special Thanksgiving foods. Speaking of Thanksgiving and holidays, let me know down below if you want me to do a video for you on some of my tips and tricks to navigate the holidays and not gain weight and kind of what my plan is for the holidays. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that video. So overall, I had a great week. I was right back on track. I enjoyed the Thanksgiving holiday. I moved my body, drank my water, focused on my whole real food, I have been really enjoying my new fitness routine and my new way of eating with my coach. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, last Sunday I released a video with a huge update about my channel, Weight Watchers, life in general, 
and my DEXA body scan results. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. I'm gonna be talking a lot about the components of that video moving forward, and you're going to see those changes on my channel. So make sure you catch up with that video so you kind of know what's going on here on my channel. But before we jump in to the Weight Watchers Workshop topic, which by the way is perfect for the holidays because the holidays are really, really busy and insane, we need a little bit of self-care in our life. I know for me, I love self-care in general, but I really focus on self-care during the holidays. And there's a product that I purchased before I took my trip to Texas in November. I took this with me on my trip to Texas and I've been loving it. And I have to share it with you guys because it's on an amazing sale for the Black Friday holiday. And that is this portable water pick or what's called an oral irrigator from Clavizo. Now I have several Clavizo products. I have a lot of their facial devices that help with anti-aging and wrinkles. I also picked up a new facial device that I'll be sharing with you guys in a future video. But I bought this little travel size water oral irrigator, which is a flosser for travel. You guys, this thing is so incredibly amazing. This is the Water Jet Flosser, again, from Clavizo. It, it helps with effortless gum and plaque removal, odor-free, fresh breath. It massages your gums, which is really important, so that you can go to the dentist confident in your teeth. It's convenient and it's cordless. It's up to 50% more effective than traditional flossing and up to 74% more effective than other water flossers on the market. It actually eradicates up to 99.9% .9 of plaque in just three seconds. There's an orthodontic tip that is up to three times more effective than dental floss for braces and veneer cleaning. It just really offers a comprehensive cleaning. It reaches areas where brushing and regular flossing can't access, deep between the teeth and below the gum line. It also has that gentle gum stimulation, which just provides a soothing massage, which enhances your gum circulation overall. It's suitable with implants, crowns, bridges, and veneers, and it just leaves your mouth feeling exceptionally fresh and clean. I love that it is travel friendly, and this is it. This is all for storage. All you do is remove the clear tank on the top, and that is your water tank. So this is what you fill with water. You have all of the different types of tips, and it is completely USB chargeable. You can just charge this in any USB port, but I'll tell you that I charged this up before I left for my trip, and I was gone almost a full week. I never had to charge this again. And I use this every single night. I wanted to share with you kind of my personal experience with this type of water flosser or oral irrigator. Gums in my family are not good. I was on the verge of periodontal disease and when I started using a water flosser, my gums are perfect now. Every time I go to the dentist, they always say, oh, you're just the prime example of how a water flosser actually is more effective. I mean, 74% more effective than flossing your teeth. Choose your desired mode. There's low, medium, and strong. I typically use the strong. I really want to get in there and clean out my teeth. And then just target the hard to reach areas and just go throughout your gums and your teeth. And you'd be shocked what comes out. It's actually quite disturbing, but it's also very rewarding when you know that your teeth are nice and clean. It's helping stimulate the gums and remove plaque. This is typically about $72. It is on sale for Black Friday and I have a special discount code for you. So I'll link it down below for you so that you can pick this up for yourself for a little bit of self-care or this would make an amazing gift. One charge will last up to 30 days. It's portable. You can even take it in the shower for travel. It doesn't take up a lot of space. This is everything you need in this tiny little component. It also comes in pink and green if you want something a little more colorful. But again, it makes the perfect self-care. Taking care of your teeth is really important and something we sometimes put to the wayside, flossing during the busy holiday season. And this is just going to help you floss more effectively in about an eighth of the time. So again, I'll link it down below with the special discount. I had to share it with you guys because I've been loving it and it's going to help me get in all my flossing during the busy holiday season. Speaking of busy holiday season, this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic fits right in. And this is a simple way to stay on track when life gets busy. I mean, this is the busiest time of the year. Are you stressing about how you're going to navigate the holidays? Not just food related, but how are you going to fit everything in? All of the holiday parties, the Christmas shopping, the decorating your house, the getting ready for the holidays, family and friends coming over. It is so busy and can be really, really stressful. And sometimes we think we don't have time to navigate our diet, trying to lose weight. We're just going to throw in the towel for the rest of the year. But what happens is then we start the new year up on the scale and we have to make up for everything we did during the holiday season. So 
this week's topic is just going to help you learn how to stay on track even during this busy time. Try this. List all the goal supporting tasks you want to take on this week. Then circle the one that's the most important to you and doable considering what else you have going on. Maybe it's meal prepping your dinners, going to the gym three times this week, or writing in your journal once this week. Can't manage to a whole to do, tweak it. Could you just prep three dinners and focus on that? Break it down that one task into the smallest steps possible. Then make a plan for when you'll do each and what you might need. Check the WW app for recipes and make a menu. Write out a grocery list, go grocery shopping, chop your vegetables, marinate your proteins, and prep anything else in advance. Batch cook meals tomorrow night. Just because we're really busy and weight loss can't be our number one focus during the holidays, it can still be a focus. And doing all of these little things, taking all of these little teeny baby steps will help us stay on track during the holidays. Now, I always say it's a holiday, not a hollow week, not a hollow month. Try your best to stay on track when it's not the holidays. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, enjoy yourself. Eat all your favorite foods. Be mindful, but eat all your favorite foods and then get right back on track December 26th holiday, not a holla month. Try to add little things to your list and also allow yourself some grace and some breathing room. The holidays can be really, really chaotic. Let some of those less important, less prioritized things just kind of drop off your radar for the month of December. We should always be prioritizing our health. We should always be prioritizing our weight loss. So keep that on the list, but let some of the other things go if necessary. Focus on one thing to focus on for the month of December. Maybe it's tracking your food. Maybe it's prepping for the week. Maybe it's going to the gym, drinking your water, Water. Focus on one thing, one healthy habit that will help you make it through December without seeing the scale go in the wrong direction. You don't have to do it all to be successful. You can do small pieces of it all and still be equally as successful. So with that, I want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, when you stop engaging in your usual healthy habits, it can be hard to restart them. Number two, small doable actions help you stay the course and prevent you from feeling like you have to start from scratch. Breaking a task into smaller steps helps you believe you can complete it. Baby steps. Give yourself grace. Don't try to do it all. Don't try to do it all in the month of December. Really don't try to do it all any of the time because it's overwhelming. And when we're overwhelmed, we quit. Find one thing to focus on during the holidays and stick with it. And I promise you're not going to have 10 pounds to take off come the beginning of the year. Let us know down below what are some of your tips and tricks to make it through the holiday without the scale moving in the wrong direction. And don't forget, baby steps and give yourself some grace. This is literally one of the best topics from Weight Watchers for this time of year. And it just goes hand in hand with incorporating a little bit of self-care into the holidays as well. Take care of you. You can't pour from an empty cup. So make sure you're giving yourself the self-care you, you need throughout the holidays, even if it's just flossing your teeth a little bit more regularly. So with that being said, with talking about my week, let's chat about my weigh-in. Now, last week I was up on the scale 0.8. That was coming off of my third little getaway vacation in a row. I went to Hawaii, went to Texas, then my mom came to visit. It was very chaotic and it was a lot of eating out and a lot of eating the foods that I normally don't eat. But because I have a new health goal, a new fitness routine, a new way of eating, I really have been sticking with that this last week, getting in my movement, drinking my water, taking my supplements. And when I stepped on the scale today, I am down 0.6 pounds. So I lost everything I gained last week except 0.2. I will also say that I'm starting my cycle. So that is partially why the rest of that weight didn't come off. And really it's completely fine with me. I was fine with the 0.8 gain. So the fact that I lost 0.6 of that is fantastic. It was probably just a weight fluctuation from water and, you know, just eating some of those different foods while my mom was here visiting. So I feel really, really good about where I am. I feel really good about going into the month of December, really the hardest month of the year. And I'm really excited excited to see what happens in 2024. I did mention in my update video that I'll be doing a vision board video. I'll be sharing with you my goals for 2024 and whether or not I reached my goals in 2023. That is all coming this month for you as well. So I'm really happy with the losing of 0.6 out of the 0.8 that I gained. I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen my total weight loss so far as well as my current 
wait. And let me know down below, what are your tips and tricks for navigating the holidays? Giving yourself some self-care, giving yourself some grace, but what do you do to make it through the holidays without weight gain? Let us know down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on. You're not going to want to miss any future. You're not going to want to miss the content in December, and you're definitely not going to want to miss everything I have for you in 2024. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Don't forget about the Black Friday sale for personalized macros. I also have all of my merch on sale as well. I'll put all of that information down below for you, as well as my Facebook group and links and discounts to my other favorite things. The Clavizo Oral Ir Irrigator will be at the top of the description box. Also take advantage of that Black Friday sale for yourself and for gifts this holiday season. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow in the grocery haul. Bye.